What is going on YouTube? It's Pete coming in hot with another video. Also known as that guy Pete. You just refuse to invite the gatherings. And today we are here to go over a pretty hot topic. On the internet I see all the time. A real man needs to step up. A real man would step up and help me raise this kid that's not his. If you find out that the kid's not yours, you still have a duty to that kid. Trying to appeal to our honor to get us to do the right thing. Of course, what I'm talking about is why men generally do not want to date single moms. We're going to go through 10 reasons here today. There definitely are other reasons i am sure but uh we're gonna go through an article written by a woman so this should be good her name is angela mcshan all right it's on regain.us um i'm interested in specifically the 10 reasons why some people do not date single moms okay Fair warning, this video is definitely most likely going to be rated S for Savage. Uh, I'm going in blind on this one. Okay. So we're going to go through the article. I'm going to give my commentary as always. This is what I do on episodes of Filler Z. <laughs> but uh, this is a good topic and definitely something that RP aware men and BP aware men need to be aware of. I generally strongly advise against quote unquote stepping up. The exception would be, I guess, if both people in question were widows or something like this. That would probably be the exception to the rule. Like, you know, his wife died, her husband died, they have kids. And, um, you know, there's just a void from from losing their loved one. And they did. They just want to try again. I get it. But other than that, generally, it's a bad idea. And that's what we're here to cover today. So without further ado, let the savagery Commence. 10 reasons why some people do not date single moms. There's no denying that being a single mom has its challenges. Being a single parent, period, has its challenges. It sucks not having the yin to your yang there. But anyway, and some people find dating single moms to be equally challenging. Understatement of the millennium. Their time is restricted. Financial limitations may persist, and their responsibilities are usually greater. Yeah, it's usually how it goes when you have a kid. Whatever complications a single mom carries, it is not always true that they can't commit to a relationship or have what it takes to do one um, work. That's bad grammar, but I guess what she meant was whatever it takes to make one work. Now, um, yeah, there's always exceptions to the rule, but anomalies are anomalous. So again, as men in 2021, we must operate on the rule. And as a general rule, uh, no, they're not good bets. And we're going to go through some reasons here. Some single moms are the best at organizing and dividing their time. Yeah, you're, you're a great multitasker, but that's not why men, that's not why men don't want to date you, but okay become a way of life that they manage very well. Not every single mom deals with a disgruntled ex who is determined to make all their relationships fail. Whatever the circumstance may be, some people refuse to date single moms because of the possible complications. The following are the 10 reasons why some people do not date single moms. So you could already see that this author, she is going to come from a point of antagonism. She does not like that men do not want to date. <clears throat> single moms and that's because she does not understand men most likely she understands that what the reasons are but she doesn't fully appreciate and understand why the reasons are what they are i suspect but let us find out together in real time reason number one has to do with drama okay so put simply some people don't do drama and some single moms come with a lot of it you've heard the terms baby mama drama or baby daddy drama yep they are loosely associated often with single moms. And many men refuse to date single moms because they would prefer to avoid any negative encounters or associations involving the other parent. Yeah, I don't want to fight 
over a woman whose womb has already been shared. And there's a chance that 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 X is a is the alpha imprint. So, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with that. And I think any man here that's RP aware would agree with that. OK, once a person hears that a woman is a single mom, they automatically think of the baby daddy. She got this right. We think of the baby daddy because we are territorial. Yep. And men are very protective of their turf. It is what it is. Now, in his eyes, it may be an uncomfortable or unwelcome situation. Understatement of the millennium number two. While there may be no drama in her life at all with the other parents, many people don't take the initiative to stick around and find out. Of course, why would I take the risk with a single mother who has a kid when I can just be with a woman who does not have any kids at all and she could have my kids? And this is why you're seeing some stories on online, Reddit stories, TikTok videos, and things like this, where a woman will date a guy and not even mention that she has a kid. And then he finds out. That is not a mistake. They do that on purpose because they know that men have a problem with it. So instead of just, you know, dealing with that reality and the fact that a consequence of being a single mom is that your dating options will be greatly reduced, they simply lie about it like people do on their resumes and how they lie in job interviews. And that's what they do. So that's reason number one, drama. Reason number two has to do with time constraints. So some people feel that a single mom has little to no time to date. Um, this is probably the least <laughs> important reason, but um, it's still it's still a relevant factor. Yes. Good single moms are spending quality time with their kids, as they should. But single moms realize that time for themselves is imperative to be better for their children. No, it is not. <laughs> Being a mother is a service to your child. Being a father is a service to your child, which is why you should be chasing down that Chad who cream pied in you and making him do what his duty is. But of course, you respect Chad, so you're never going to subject him to that responsibility. You're going to make a beta cuck do it instead and step up and do the right thing. Okay. So I love it. Like, you know, it, it reminds me of that story of that kid where his classmates found out his mom, who was like 30, early 30s, does not OnlyFans, right? The kid's getting bullied in school and he confronts his mother about it. And, you know, she says she says something exactly like this. Well, I'm doing this for me and it makes me really happy. It makes me feel good. So you should be happy for me. Yes, I'm happy that my mom is a freaking garden tool. And now all my friends are making fun of me and bullying me. And I believe the kid was contemplating self-deletion. So these are the kind of things that, you know, could stem from that. So, no, I don't agree that um, time for yourself is imperative to be better for your children. Um, but I, I would say it helps if you're in a good mindset. Sure. But using that as like a, an excuse to like go to the club while your mother takes care of your kid. It's like, no. Nah. Some people feel that a single mom has no time for anything else, especially dating between work, school, and kids. And that would be a reasonable thing to expect, that they don't have time. Yeah. If you're a person that requires all of a woman's time, we're going to blame shift to the man now, and you can't understand that she's got other responsibilities in life, dating a single mom may not be for you. It's not for any man who has self-respect. However, many single moms are strong and have become efficient in time management. They make sure to devote a balanced amount of time to their kids and their social life. Friendships are a lot easier to maintain than a relationship. Social life is easy. Relationships are hard. So, when you look at it like this, and... Um, they try to say, well, a man doesn't understand that I don't have a lot of time. Understand from our perspective, ladies, the fact that you don't have time for us. <laughs> that's at the bottom of the barrel of reasons we're not dating a single mother. This And she put it as number two. It's like not even close to num like the top of the list. But let's keep going. 
Reason number three, some people don't want to share their partner with anyone else, even her kids. We're here to date, not compete. So like the previous reason, but different in a certain sense, people who do not date a single mom because of this reason are expecting her to be available to him all the time. No, that's not it at all. We're not expecting you to be available to us all the time. We just know that at the end of the day, we're always going to come in second. Always going to come in second. Now, I was having a discussion in the conference room because recall, I work in a place where you can have these types of conversations and people could just be honest about it. And as a result, we all grow together. And I was saying something to the effect that a man should not step up and be the stepdad because if he does that, the woman will always put the kid before him and the women in the room were basically saying that's not true i feel i would always put the kid first i feel like i feel like i feel like so i said okay here's a scenario you ready and they were like okay i was like let's do a thought experiment i said to them you got three options you could save the kid's life and the husband dies Assume the husband's the biological father of the kid. You could save the husband and the kid dies, or you could sacrifice yourself to save them both. What do you do? And they all pretty much said the same thing. They said that they would choose the husband because the husband can help them make another kid. Okay? And I don't think they understood the hypocrisy in their answer, but that's okay. I don't expect them to. It's hardwired in. Especially if you're dealing with a Chad. You got these women, they'll dance in TikTok videos with their kid on the bed in the background trying to get another Chad. Chad always reigns supreme. The alpha imprint always reigns supreme. It always comes first. But some beta cuck stepdad, now she'll choose the kid over him every single time. Because by stepping up, he has communicated that he is weak and not worthy of respect. On a subconscious level, this is being communicated. Neither side is thinking about this on a conscious level. But all this fancy schmancy, every kiss begins with K and all that bullshit, I tell you all the time, it does not override Ooga Booga. It doesn't. I know, I know you want your Disney fairy tale, but it just doesn't work that way. So I just thought I'd mention that. It was very interesting. Um, again, because, you know, they say they put the kids first, but when the chips are down, they'll they'll choose they'll choose um, the man that they they had that kid with. Okay. So, you know, at the end of the day, this type of person, they're talking about the man who says he wants all of her time, you know, always wants her to answer his calls and all that. The type of person who wants spontaneous um, stuff going on in the relationship. I think it's women who usually look for spontaneity more than men do. They're the ones who like the emotional roller coaster. We kind of like more consistency and order, such as Steady Box, for example. But it's not something that a single mom can always be. And I think she's looking at spontaneity from solipsism. That's what she would have wanted back in her party years. That's not what a man wants. A man just wants consistent punani. That's it. But if she doesn't have the kids, it may be possible, but can't always be expected. It may not always be possible for a single mom to acquire a babysitter or leave the kids unattended, which is another reason that spontaneity can occur with single moms all the time. So again, if you're trying to say like, hey, this is the reason why your relationship is going to be of a lower quality with a single mother, you're not really selling it. He's still going to look for the woman who's younger, hotter, tighter, and has no kids and less, you know, drama and psychological issues from CC writing for 10 years and destroyed pair bondability and all this stuff. Again, this is what men want and this is why single mothers from the perspective of men, is the antithesis of that. That's why they don't want it. Again, it doesn't diminish you as a human being. What you're doing for that kid is fantastic, that like you're really putting all your heart and soul into raising that kid and trying to give them the best life that they can. And if you're trying to have the other parents co-parent and that the, the dad's in the life and stuff, even better. It's fantastic. But just understand most men are not going to take you seriously for dating because there's baggage there. Number four. 
Some people view single moms as less than a quality catch. You don't say. In the back of the minds of some, single moms aren't the best quality in the dating world. They see single women with no children as being better than those who have kids. That's because they are, especially if your goal as a man is to have a family of your own someday with your own progeny. In fact, some people believe that single moms should be dating all, should be spending all their time raising their kids and not dating at all. This is a negative stereotype that prevents some men from experiencing quality relationships with great women and potential. Yeah, I'm not going through all that haystack. I'm not doing it. Why do it when I can have a hot, if this is an alleged high quality relationship with a single mom, why would I do that when I can have a high quality relationship with a woman who is not a single mom? Again, it's just, it's it's a mark of um, modesty is one of the, the four things we look for. The fact that someone else planted the flag there and the culmination of that flag being planted is another kid being born. Again, it just doesn't sit right with men. So again, it is going to knock a lot of points off when you're a single mom. It is what it is. So yes, men do perceive it as poor quality. Mm -hmm. Number five, some people don't want the responsibility of raising another person's child. In other words, no cuckoldry. For their own unique reasons, some people can't justify raising children that aren't their own. It's ooga booga. It's wired into his brain. There are some mammals that when they they kill the dad and then take the female, they kill the kids. The cubs, whatever you want to call it. They kill the cubs. A single mom could be everything a person desires, but he won't consider dating her because she has kids. Correct. Some people don't want to establish a bond with their kids either because they aren't certain that the relationship will last. Correct. Because if that relationship fails and you made a bond with her and the kid, you don't lose one relationship, you lose two. Which means double the pain. Yep. So continuing off of that point is number six. Some people know that they don't want a serious relationship. Most people think that a single mom will be looking for a relationship where she dates uh, when she dates someone. Um, yeah, I mean, you're probably looking for a, a beta box or something like this. Yeah, I can't help but think, uh, hi, I'm pregnant. Hi, I'm stepdad. And you're just like face like you fucking cuck. Okay, most people think that a single mom will be looking for that when she dates someone because it's it's reasonable to assume that if you're sure that this isn't something you're ready for, not dating a single mom is a good idea. It prevents her from hoping for something that you have no plan on giving her. Yeah, single moms end up getting pumped and dumped all the time. Yep, because they keep shooting for those chads. Some people refuse to waste their time with a relationship that will never advance past an occasional date here or there. An occasional date here or there basically means an occasional fuck here or there. Yep. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. And again, it ties to the other reason. This idea that it's not going anywhere and you're not losing one relationship. If it does go sideways, you're losing two. So there's no point in forming a bond with these people and calling them family. For seven, some single parents find it difficult to date single moms also. Difference in parenting style. Yep. It may seem odd, but some single fathers refuse to date single mothers. They are concerned that the parenting styles won't match, or they're concerned that their kids will begin to feel that their kids are replacing them. It's a challenging situation, but not impossible with the right amount of dedication and understanding. Correct. But why am I going to take on all that fucking shit? As the leader of a household, not saying women can't be leaders of households, I'm just saying that a man on a balance of probabilities, is going to be a better leader of a household because he's wired to lead. That's what he was built to do, protect, provide, and lead. A single dad is probably going to have an easier time integrating a woman into his family than the other way around. That being said, there are single mothers, um, not single mothers, there are women that do take a serious issue with single fathers, and they're like, no, I'll disqualify him for being a single dad. And that's fine. You're allowed to have that preference. No one's going to hold that against you. But from what we've seen, um, women dating single dads 
um, the idea of that is not a disqualifier in the same way it is for us dating single moms. And that's just the market. It is what it is. Okay. So that's basically a yeah, difference in parenting style and, and single dads just not being interested in dating single moms. Now you've got number eight, which some single people want to have their children before raising others. This is a matter of legacy, which I have talked about in the past. It's common for a person to want their kids. Some feel they should dedicate their efforts to having kids of their own before even thinking about sharing someone else's kids. The thought of sharing someone else's kids should never enter your mind, period. That is the responsibility of that man. Take it up with him. It's a feeling that's somewhat unexplainable, but experienced by many people. It is not somewhat unexplainable. It is biologically wired into our brain. Why do you think paternity fraud fucks us up so much? Because of legacy. Because I am wired to see a decrease in my testosterone levels when I have children. So that I am less aggressive. So that I bond and connect with my kids and protect them and provide for them. This does not happen when you are talking about another man's kids because they are not mine. That is big, especially for men who really care about this legacy shit, which pretty much almost inherently is majority men. Number nine, some men are intimidated by single moms. Here's the feminist answer. Love it. It's common for some people to be intimidated by single moms because they feel that she's got everything under control and doesn't want input or help from someone else. Lady, we don't give a shit how you raise your kid. The problem is that you have a kid from another man. Not how you raise the kid. Most single moms have grown accustomed to getting things done on their own. It doesn't mean they don't want help, only that they've gotten used to not having any help. Yep. And the only guys who will step up to the plate on that are the beta cucks, which is a guy you'll never respect. So the everlasting struggle here is you want Chad to take on this role, but Chad will never do it. He'll just keep pumping and dumping you. So basically your CC writing continues when you're a single mother. I think the um, this is like after the divorce happens, um, or the or the dad the dad leaves the picture. When that happens, sorry about that, by the way. When that happens and the dad leaves the picture, or the divorce happens, there's what's called a uh, a um, a uh, I think it's called the redevelopment phase in uh, Rollo Tomasi's book, Preventative Medicine. So basically, after the epiphany phase. Um, they consolidate on a man, they develop the marriage, and then alpha reinterest happens, and then redevelopment happens when she's like around late 30s, early 40s, and she goes and rediscovers herself. She 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 takes a, takes a ride on the CC one last time kind of thing. And basically what ends up happening is, like I said, they either get pumped and dumped by you know these chads that don't want them, or they consolidate on a beta cuck. When that secondary security phase comes back in, you know, you go from epiphany to security to development to alpha reinterest back into redevelopment. And then you go right back into security one last time when you realize that your agency is all gone for real, for real now. OK, and the 10th and final reason is some people feel that they won't make good parents. Some men just don't want the responsibility. I know I don't. I don't want to be a dad. I have absolutely zero interest in being a dad in 2021. You fucking crazy? Considering all the things we're talking about? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's common for people to feel that they'll be horrible parents. Most single moms feel that way before their child is born. <laughs> yeah, because most of these kids, <laughs> they're, they're resulting from Chad cream pies. Or failed marriages. Once you experience the child's relationship, it becomes easier to see yourself in a parenting role. Um, yeah, for my own kids, not someone else's. I work. I worked at a, a 
a summer day camp when I was like 18, 19 years old. I worked with kids between the ages of four and eight. And the best part was that, yeah, it was fun, you know, but I got to hand the kids back off to their parents at the end of the day. And that's when I realized I didn't want kids. I was just like, nah, I don't want this responsibility. But um, still, it does present an opportunity for you to get to know the mother better and decide if you want to continue the relationship, which at some point will include getting to know her kids. Yeah, but again, if the relationship fails, those two bonds that um, you had are shattered. And again, she'll leave just because she feels like it. And then you just have to get over it while she fell out of love. So if you're hesitant about dating a single mom or a single mom who has issues allowing yourself to date because of your kids, um, there could be an underlying issue that you need to address. Talk with a therapist to help you gain insight and clarity on the topic and help you feel better about dating. Again, I love it. Shift the blame to men. No, we don't need therapy in order to be okay with your with the idea of dating you as a single mother. No, that's not the issue here. The issue is you let Chad cream pie in you, you kept the kid, and now you're asking a beta to raise it, and he doesn't want to do it. And so he is not going to do it. Ladies, if you have not had any kids yet, understand that um, having, having a kid and no father in the home, being a single mom and then getting back out into the dating market it's, it's the ultimate mark that's going to just make your life in dating that much more difficult. You're going to get pumped and dumped at best. And I guess at worst, you will be with a beta you don't want. Because we all know you prefer five minutes alpha to a lifetime of beta. Okay? And... Yeah, it turns out this topic was really savage. But for the fellas watching, again, you could do whatever you want at the end of the day. But I strongly advise against dating single mothers for many of these reasons that we outlined today. There's usually a lot of drama with the baby daddy. There is. If things go sideways, you lose two relationships, not just one. You have to bond with the kid, too. And this idea of legacy is always going to gnaw at the back of your head. The idea that another man planted his flag and had his filthy hands on her. It's always going to bother you. Because there's an ooga booga impulse in your brain that makes it bother you. There's nothing you can really, really do about that. So, yeah. And make no mistake, you know, when I when I look at these situations, yes, look, there are some some real piece of shit guys out there. But there's also some really manipulative women out there, too, that manipulate these betas into raising kids that aren't theirs and doing things that they don't want to do. They're both equally bad. And in between, there's there's good men and women that are just looking at this from the outside. And they're like, this is bonkers. It's absolutely ridiculous to expect this. Like, what kind of hubris do you have to have to think that the whole world around you, all these men are going to just magically see things from your perspective and prefer you, a single mother, over a younger woman who's hotter and she has less baggage? In what world? And that younger, hotter girl with less baggage that is more um, receptive to his alpha imprint versus having to compete with your baby daddy's imprint? Fuck that. No way. So, I think we're going to stick a pin in it there. I think I've said everything I need to say. You're not stepping up when you do this. You're being cucked. You're being a beta. All right? You're not doing the right thing. You're doing a disservice to yourself. So, yeah. The idea is to uh, focus on yourself, not spend all your time chasing skirts, definitely not chasing sloppy seconds or thirds or fiftieths, having standards, all this good stuff. And ladies, your job is to try to never end up in this situation in the first place by preserving your value. That's the name of the game for you. I don't make the rules, I just report it. 
that's all I got to say. So feel free to leave a like on this savage video I made today. Feel free to leave a dislike. I know it hurts, but I warned you at the beginning. You could have X'd out the video then. Call me an asshole. I get it. You want to vent in the comments section? Go ahead. Vent. Whatever you do, don't report the video, though. This content is useful to some of the men out there, and it is useful to some of the women out there, believe it or not. Let them take the information in and do as they will with it. And if, for some reason, you are enjoying this content, go ahead and subscribe. If you're not enjoying this content and you are a subscriber, go ahead and unsubscribe. It ain't about the money. I always say it's about stopping men from self-deleting. It's about giving a comprehensive Manosphere video library for people to access when they need it. And if it can help women self-improve, that's a pretty neat bonus. As always, I am that guy, Pete. You refuse to invite to gatherings. I'm definitely going to catch you out for the next one. But for now, peace.